Hello guys, in this video, I am going to show you how you can use artificial intelligence in Illustrator. All right, let's start. On the version 2024 of Illustrator, you can apply artificial intelligence in different ways. What I'm going to do here, I am going to go here to the right on the properties panel, and you have here text to vector graphic in beta mode. Here, what you can do in this area, you can put a prompt. For example, I am going to put here space with planet. Before I hit generate, double check what you have here on the top. You can select subject, scene, icon, or pattern. In this case, I'm going to select scene, and then I am going to click generate. You will see this dialog box. You have to agree with the terms, and then you have to wait a few seconds until your computer is going to generate the new image. Okay, and this looks pretty cool. And here, automatically, you will see the task bar that you can see the space with planet, and then you can see three different options. You can see the thumbnail of the different options also on this area. What you can use these little arrows to go to the next drawing, or you can just click here on the thumbnail. To remove the edges, you can just click outside or you can click inside and you can press Command H or Control H in window. That is when you go to the view menu and you select hide edges. And then you are not seeing the edges and you can navigate across the different options. If you see the size of this, I can see the width and the height is square. But what if you want, for example, something like a rectangle? In that case, I am going to delete this and you can create a rectangle. Let's say I'm going to create a big rectangle, something like this. And then I'm going to put here a space with planets. I'm going to hit generate again. And now I am going to have other options. Okay. I look at that. Now you can see it's more like a rectangle. I'm going to take a look to the different options. Okay. And let's say here, I would like to add more elements, for example, I'm going to create another rectangle on this area. And first I am going to change to subject. And here instead space with planet, I am going to type, for example, astronaut floating and enter. Okay. And what's going to happen is going to create a drawing on that area. One of the things that is pretty cool of this technology, these are not pixels. These are vectors that you can stretch or increase the size to whatever size that you want. Yeah, that the image is pretty cute. And then I'm going to select the other one. Very nice. I believe the second one is the best one. Then I can select another area, for example, here in this area. And I'm going to put here on the prompt. I'm going to continue with the subject. And here I'm going to put spaceship. Before I click enter, here you have a few options. Here I have a gear on the settings that if I click there, you can increase the detail. If I go to the right, you will have more detail on the results. I'm going to click generate beta. And now if you can see, it's very nice, the result. Okay. By the way, as you can see, it's preserving the same colors that I have here on the background. Why? because I have this that is going to match the active artboard style. If I click on this to deactivate, what's going to happen, you are going to have different colors, not the same colors that you have on the background, but I am going to keep that active. And then I'm going to take a look to the other results. Yeah. I kind of like the first one. Uh, maybe I am going to this one also rotate a little bit. Yeah, maybe it's something like that. And look at that. That is the result what I can do with Illustrator. And let's say I would like another version. What I'm going to do, I am going to select everything. Okay, I'm going to move up. And I would like to take a copy of this. I'm going to just copy paste. And I'm going to use another thing that you can do with AI in Illustrator. Is the way that you can change color. Here on the task bar, you have recolor. If you click there, you're going to open the recolor. This look at how many colors you have there. But what I'm going to do here, I'm going to select here the generated color. If you click there, you have different 
options. For example, there is a few sample prompt, or you can put and describe what kind of colors do you want there. For example, let's say I'm gonna put here pink and red from, let's say, Barbie. Let's see what's happening with that. I'm gonna select generate. I have to accept the terms and let's take a look what happened. Uh, look at that. Very nice colors that you can apply to your result. I believe this technology is awesome with a lot of potential. In addition, there are all things that I can do. I'm gonna select my artboard tool. I'm gonna to create a new one. And let's say I would like to create, for example, a pattern. I'm gonna create a rectangle again. And here, instead subject, I'm gonna select pattern. And then I'm gonna select here, generate. Let's see what is the result. And look at that. You have a very nice pattern. This pattern will live here. If you go to the swatches panel, you can open and the panel, expand the panel and you will see the swatch is there. If you click on the second swatch, that is going to add that swatch to the swatches panel. Click on the third one, same thing. And let's say you want to modify, you can select here edit pattern or you can just double click and then you can start your editing at the way that you use Illustrator. For example, I can select here the background color and let's say I would like to change for another color and you will modify the pattern. Then you can click here on the top done and you're complete done. These are very, very nice. And the last one, I am going to go again here and I am going to select here icon. I'm gonna create something here. I'm gonna remove the color and I'm gonna select here spaceship for the icon, generate beta. Okay, and look at that. It creates a few icons that you can use for your design. Pretty cool stuff. That is what you can do with Illustrator, AI, and much more. All right, guys, I hope you like this video. Give me a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, and see you on the next one. Okay, bye.